a bigger universe. What does this mean? I did a lot of martial arts, um, you know, about 13 years of Taekwondo, Hapkido, Aikido, stuff like that. And I learned uh, in that study that if you were, um, wanted to learn the longbow, if you practice sword, you got better at longbow. So the notion here is being multidisciplinary, being multi-lens, if you will, to bring viewpoints in that are above and beyond your own, super, super important and super, super valuable, again, to being future-proof. Uh, as an input into this, um, there's a prediction that there'll be a trillion sensors, you know, 2020 or something. So the, the inputs and the data that are going to start to come at you from tank cards and Fitbits and everything are going to multiply. So you're going to be getting types of data and types of signals, if you will, from places that you've never conceived of before. So the viewpoint, the vista has to change, has to increase. Um, there are 47% of women in the population and roughly 18% of women in tech. There are, five, uh, there are about 15 to 18% uh, of blacks in the population. I think, uh, I'm sorry, I got that wrong. I think 14 and 18 between blacks and Hispanics. Um, and you see the representation here. The reason I put this up is that it's not just the technology that's getting homogeneous and complex. The inputs from people, the viewpoints of people, that are required to make your, your apps future-proof are going to be coming from other places. So getting teams that understand those viewpoints and getting inputs that encompass those lenses, again, super, super important. And it's not just good practice. The, these, these types of teams, heterogeneous teams, pay off. There's a, you, know, you can see the, uh, the, the, uh, the data there. Um, it pays... Teams are more productive, teams are more successful, companies are more successful if they bring multi-viewpoint into the way they think and the way they develop. So a bigger universe implies success. Um, machine inputs from IoT and other places, dizzying rate they're multiplying. Again, the globalization, you're getting, you're, if you're a global company, even if you're not a global company, you probably want to be, if you want to be successful, you'll be getting cultural inputs and other types of demands from some people, again, outside your sphere of influence. Um, and it's finally, it's just the right thing to do. So what do we want to build? We want to build a world that's rooted in metadata. We want to build a world that is enabled by the composability we spoke about. And finally, we want to build a world that's informed by this bigger universe, people and machines and devices. I hope you enjoy the rest of your time, and thank you so much.